What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you the real estate market updates in Burlington, Ontario for the month of February 2022. I'm going to share with you guys the average cost per home, how long they've been staying on the market, what's happening with the interest rates and all of that fun stuff. So stay tuned. Let's start with the increase in listings. This is a huge benefit for home buyers. Lately, we've had a very, very low inventory count in Burlington, Ontario, and the surrounding areas for the houses that have been popping up on the market. This has caused crazy, crazy bidding wars. We've seen some houses going way, way over asking. What I believe is going to happen with this change in listings that are coming on the market, we're gonna have buyers spreading out, going to different homes so it will be less competitive that is some good news. Let's talk about that real quick. Last month in January, in Burlington, Ontario, we saw a total of 215 listings throughout the whole month. February of 2022, now one month later, our listing count for the whole month is 350 listings, which is great. There's more coming on the market and I do expect more to be hitting the market. And that number of increase in listings is gonna rise as we get closer to the summertime. This is gonna be good for buyers. You guys will not have as crazy of bidding wars. Understand, I personally believe right now, now is the time to buy. That being said, let's talk about the interest rates. There has been an increase in interest rates. What I think is gonna happen right now with the increase in interest rates, it has gone up 0.25. Is that a big deal? The truth is guys, it's not. Now I understand nobody likes an increase in interest rates, but because of how crazy the housing market has been, I actually think that this is gonna level it out a little bit for home buyers within the next period of 30 to 60 days. Why do I say 30 to 60 days? Because every time the interest rates change, people get a little bit scared of buying because they want to wait a second to see what's going to happen. That's your chance to capitalize. If you look at it, 0.25% increase is exactly $11.73 per $100,000 that you borrow. If you have a $700,000 mortgage on your home, you are going to pay an increase of $82.11 per month. These things right now are great for home buyers that are looking to acquire a home and are sick and tired of bidding wars. Start searching now while there's more houses popping up on the market. And if you need some help, you're looking to relocate to Burlington, Ontario or make a move, just give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. I'd be happy to help you guys get started. Now let's jump into the numbers of what the houses are selling for and what our market is currently looking like right now. Back to January of 2022, the average sale price for a home in Burlington, Ontario was $1,369,000. And for February of 2022, the average sale price per home is $1,400,000 and $13,000. So you can see the increase is still rising and it is still gonna rise. But the positive there is when you purchase a home, your investment will continue to rise. Now, I don't wanna just give you guys the average sale price because the truth is that could be a three bedroom detached home. So what I wanna do is I wanna share with you guys real numbers on all types of properties real quick so you guys can understand depending on what you're looking for. Let's talk about the detached home. If you have a family, four, five, six people or more, you are probably going to be looking at the detached house, which right now in Burlington, Ontario is going for $1.8 million. Now, you will get a good sized property, you will get some land so you're not too close to your neighbors, and a house like that is in a great, great neighborhood. Now, if you're looking for a semi-detached home, which is a house that is attached to one neighboring property, those houses right now are averaging $1,093,000, which is still great for a family, still a great property in good neighborhoods. I highly recommend semi-detached homes as well. An apartment style house right now, condos, things like this. Now on the upper level right now, the average cost is $824,000. So these are the numbers on the three different styles of homes 
in Burlington. Now, of course, we have all sorts of types of homes like two story, three story, bungalow, townhouse. These averages are what the cost is right now, depending on what you're looking for. Now, another very important thing that you need to understand about the market is the average days on the market that each listing is sitting for. Why is this important? Because it helps you guys understand how quickly they are selling, how quickly you can find a home if you're looking right now, and what you need to do to be prepared. More houses popping up on the market in February, which is a positive. Now, there was less houses in January. But here's the difference on the average days on the market. In January, the average days on the market was 12. Now, in February, the average days on the market was 8. Now, what I tell home buyers in a situation like this where houses are going quicker, you can score a deal. It's still possible in this market, but you as the home buyer needs to be prepared. When I say that, talk to your mortgage broker, understand what your qualification is, how much you can go up to and what you can afford. Of course, stay at your comfort level, but make sure you have these numbers because when you have these numbers, you are prepared to shop. The way that you can score a deal is by acquiring a bully offer. I've scored many a deals from my clients, hundreds of deals from my clients, and the truth is, I bully my way into not going to offer night where we are not going to compete for the home. We're gonna put in a preemptive bully offer and score that house. It's very hard for me to do that if they're not prepared, they're not pre-approved with their mortgage broker because then I can't pull the trigger and help them and put them in a bad situation, which is definitely what I don't wanna do by them firming up an offer on a house and they don't have their finances in order. I understand you guys might be thinking, can we put a condition in the offer for financing. Yes, you can. But if you're doing a bully offer, when the sellers see that there's a financing condition in it, they're going to say, ah, oh, you know what? This makes me a little nervous. What if they don't get financing? We should just wait for offer night. Be prepared. Be ready to see houses and you will score a deal in this market. In summary right now, Housing costs are going up a little bit. The interest rates did go up a little bit in Burlington, Ontario. The average days per market is going down, but there still is a lot of opportunity to acquire a house in Burlington, Ontario at a great price. If this video helped you guys, do me a favor, like and subscribe for all things in Burlington, Ontario. And if you're looking to make a move here, give me a call, shoot me an email, or send me a text. This is February's Market Updates and I will see you guys next time.